Welcome back to another session with Two Tankers. Today we're going to talk about how we calibrate our Z-axis on an M2 or a Maslow CNC. And as always, if you find this content helpful, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned. All right, to properly do this job, you're gonna to need two tools. First, you're gonna need a set of digital calipers. I prefer calipers that measure in inches and millimeters. All of my measurements I do in millimeters, much more accurate. Second, you're gonna need a pencil to write down some numbers because you're gonna to have to do some math. Oh, I hate math. Okay, anyway, let's get started. All right, the first step you wanna do is, once you get your sled hung, is you wanna take a measurement from the top side of your bearing block to the bottom side of your clamping block. Take your calipers, use the backside inside measurement on your calipers, put it in between there, open them up. I get a measurement of 21.5. All right, with your initial measurement at 21.5, then go ahead and open up Makerverse. Make sure everything is connected. On the left-hand side, go to the Calibrate button. Click the Calibrate button. Go ahead and scroll through and get to the Z-axis tab that's up here. Click the Z-axis tab. Make sure your invert Z-axis motion is set to yes. And I initially move small increments for my measurements. So I'll go to the distance. I'll type in five millimeters and I will click move down. Now for my second measurement, I take it the exact same way with my digital calipers using the inside measurement teeth. I put it in between the two blocks and I take my measurement. All right, so now I have my second measurement at 31.0 millimeters. I subtract my first measurement, 21.5, from 31.0. That gives me roughly a 9.5 millimeter difference. What I do is then I take that 9.5 millimeter distance and I put it into the Z distance actually moved. Once I put that in, I click apply scaling. Let the scaling apply. Then you're going to take a whole nother set of measurements and you keep repeating this process until the measurement meets or exceeds what you are putting in here for your distance. The last step in your calibration process is to define zero, this button right here. To do this, you need to properly place the tip of your bit up against the wood on your cut surface. All right, to properly calibrate your zero on your Z-axis to the board, you take a piece of paper, you lift your sled up just a little bit off the board, slide the paper underneath the board to where it is underneath of the bit. Then I would go to my Makerverse software and slowly lower the bit using the Z-axis, lower it down one millimeter or 0.5 millimeters at a time. While I'm doing that, I would slowly move my paper back and forth. When the bit grabs the paper and starts to mark the paper or rip it, stop. All right, now that you have your bit just barely touching the wood on your Z, then you would come in here and you would just click define zero. All right, folks, that's it. Now you've calibrated your Z axis movement to a fraction of a millimeter and you zeroed your bit to your cutting work surface. It can be a tedious process. You have to do it over and over to get it to a fraction of a millimeter, but it's well worth it. And as always, if you like my material, my content, please like and subscribe and I will get more material out to everybody. Thanks.